I actually didn't believe it was going to happen because, you know, I, she was in the script from, from day one. But I was like, mm, I, I know what happened on the first movie where we couldn't have Superman. This is going to be the exact same thing as in the first one where you never see the head. People would have been so mad. <laughs> oh, another headless cameo. We're finally here, yeah. Shazam! Fury of the Gods. It's been a few years. How did the story that you were going to do for the sequel, did it evolve over time? Yes, um, we did first look at sort of what the comic book has been doing recently, the Shazam comic book. Uh, but it felt like that was a little bit too fantasy and out there because they're going into all these different worlds to so the room of doors and things. And we wanted to do something that takes place in our world, something more grounded and bring all the monsters and things here instead. Um, and that, that's when it turned into like, hey, you know, his powers come from gods and mythological figures. What if the powers were stolen and they want them back? You know, because that would give a cool motivation for the bad guys that you can kind of understand. Yeah, because in the first Shazam, the, the post credit scene has Mr. Mind. Yeah. And so my, my brain would assume that we were going there for the sequel. Was that originally what you were going to do or? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, they were sort of, this was part of Mr. Mind's plan. Like he was the one getting the goddesses to, to our world. Um, that, that was the original idea, but it turned into, it was just too much story. I mean, the movie's already over two hours without it, you know, so it would have been a very long movie. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what Mr. Mind is up to some other time, I guess. <laughs> Big question, I'm sure you're getting it a lot, but there's new leadership at DC Studios with James Gunn and Peter Safran who produced this movie. What types of conversations have you had? Have you had any talks about the future of Shazam? Well, the, what they've said is that uh, what we're done in these two Shazam movies doesn't contradict anything they're doing uh, with their new plans, uh, which is great because it means that, you know, you could do more Shazam movies if you wanted to. So. We'll, we'll see how that all, all works out. I don't know the full plans. I just know that there's nothing in, in these movies that would interfere. And there's the mid and post credit scenes yeah. that do like speak to the future. They obviously didn't get removed. Yeah. So I feel like that's, that's a good sign, right? I think so, yeah. I mean, it, there's certainly a lot more you can, a lot more stories you could tell with these characters than in this world. Would you ever be interested in spinning off one of those characters in like a series or something like that? Absolutely. I mean, uh, and they, they are all quite different characters. I mean, you could do something with Mary, for instance, or Darla would be fun. You know, I mean, she's sort of the most naive of them all. And, and Freddy, you know, like, they're all pretty cool characters that you could do more with. Let's talk about someone that shows up in this movie. So there's kind of like this gag in Shazam, I feel like it's a gag, like where you're like, oh, we're talking about these heroes, but we don't know who they are. We don't really see them. You kind of see like Superman from the neck down. And it was kind of going on with Wonder Woman in this movie until you're like, wait, how did this come together? Well, the, we wanted to, to poke fun at the first movie where we, you know, we had to obscure Superman's face. And on this one, I actually didn't believe it was gonna happen because you know I, she was in the script from, from day one, but I was like, mm, I, I know what happened on the first movie where we couldn't have Superman. Even when we were shooting a lot of the scene, we had to, Gal couldn't be there when we did that, so we had to do it with a stand-in. And I was like, this is gonna be the exact same thing as in the first one where you never see the head. But then we actually were able to, to shoot with Gal. Um, and I mean, th that enables us to have fun with it because if she hadn't and we had, you know, teased all of these things, people would have been so mad. Like, <laughs> oh, another headless cameo, and they would have just gone out there, you know. I was surprised. And in the first one, was Henry Cavill originally, like, supposed to? He was, yeah. And, and, and that's, the same thing happened there, where we're, we had to shoot the scene with a stand-in and with the idea of then going back and, and picking up his pieces. But then that never happens. We had to make do with the little pieces we had, which was kind of, it's a funny ending the way it cuts, but uh, we wouldn't have gotten away with that in a second movie. Now I wonder what this means for the future of Wonder Woman. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know, but I think she'll be around. Yeah. So there's this moment where there is this man running and he gets eaten by a, I can't remember what it is. But he looked, he looked <laughs> suspiciously like you. He's very handsome. <laughs> He's, he was yeah. so handsome. I was I like, know. who is that? Yeah. He must know. No, it's my, my first time doing like a, an on-screen cameo where you actually see my face. But previously I've been like voices and like creature performer and things like that. You're Mr. Mine, aren't you? I, yeah. 
I am. That's why I want to see more with Mr. Mind, because like I want that paycheck. That's, uh, <laughs> that's also, I was like, is Mr. Mind like a like this like gonna be this like ongoing gag where it's like, yeah, I'll be back. I'm coming. Work. I'm coming. Or is do you have plans for Mr. Mind? I mean, it would be cool just to see more because he's such a weird and fun character. Like he's a little worm, which is goofy as hell, but. At the same time, he is super dangerous because he is really smart and he has these powers and things. Um, so it would be fun to see, you know, a superhero fight a worm. Uh, let's cut on that. So, uh... <laughs>